Hey, you guys, it's the mom that every kid wants. Amber, I think she should just come on the show every day. Yes. And then we can take these wonderful goodies home to our kids and be like, look what we did for you today. This That's is fantastic. Right. Well, they're going to love the chocolate dip. The proof, Let's mom. not, you know. Uh, and truthfully, this sandwich is a kid's favorite, too. So we're using the Evercrisp apple. Mm -hmm. I was telling you during the break, the Evercrisp, if you like sweet, this is the apple for you. It is a natural hybrid of a Honeycrisp and a Fuji. So Ooh. two naturally pretty sweet, crunchy apples. I'm guessing juicy if they're Super juicy. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, so uh, I'll cut you up some slices here in a minute. So That would be great. I've, I've got, got some great recipe ideas. Yes, yeah, so we're doing like a take on a grilled peanut butter sandwich. Yummy. And we have, uh, you know, I spread some creamy peanut butter on the bottom and then for the apple slices, we sliced the Evercrisp very thin, mm -hmm. squeezed a little bit of that Mandarosa on it just to slow down the oxidation and give it a little bit of a citrus flavor. Mm -hmm. And then we sprinkled it lightly with cinnamon. And you can see it, you just kind of do a thin layer, okay? And it's the same process from there on how to make your grilled cheese. So it'll, you know, these will cook up and we'll plate them and Nice, I have not thought to put apples on that before, but what a great idea. It's because a great it goes idea. So well with peanut butter. Apples and peanut butter uh -huh. are a natural combo, yes. And so, another really fun lunch idea on how you can use apples in an innovative way. I cut the top off of this Evercrisp and I use my melon baller. You can also use a spoon if you don't have a melon baller. And I just pulled out the, I made like a little cup or a little bowl, okay? And then with the little pieces that I peeled out, I added it to chicken salad. Mm, so you waste nothing. Waste nothing. I love that, Lori. No That's need great. to waste. Well, yes. I mean, you're, you know, we're moms. We're thinking about budget. At the same time, we're cooking. We're trying to deal with picky eaters at And times. you know and what? We are all in it together. We are all trying to figure out how do we get our kids and ourselves mm -hmm. to eat more fruits and vegetables. You know, I just read a study. In the United States of America, less than 2% of our teenagers are eating the recommended amounts of vegetables on a daily basis. Are you basis. kidding me? That's, yeah. In a way, it's no surprise. It's yeah. so discouraging, though. It's sad. But these so, are great little tips. Yeah, little tips. And any fruit or vegetable that. is an excellent choice. So that's what we're all about mm -hmm. at the Produce Moms. I love that this show allows us to showcase some ideas. And then you can see here we've got little Valentine treats. I mean, these look like yeah. little cakes almost. They do. But all that they are, are the, so those are the apples is the apples so like remember oh. i cut the top i'm going to use a cookie cutter get the get a little heart out and then oh well of course so Lori, i'm over here like with my mouth open <laughs> my mind's blown again yes. it doesn't happen often that i'm speechless but i'm like why didn't i think of that this right is a great idea and so you can just use a cookie cutter here yeah and they sell like my very one of my very favorite chocolates in the produce department for anyone that has allergies, this is completely allergen free. Uh -huh. And then you just dip it in the chocolate and let it dry on parchment and the kids can, or on a plate, and the kids can decorate it however they want. We've started calling that a snacktivity. So when there's a it's snack totally and an activity, and it activity. keeps their fingers Yes, clean. yes. Okay, you say oranges and chocolate go so well together. Oranges and chocolate go so well together. We dip them in the first segment, you, and then you can just arrange these segments. These are the Mandarosa segments. Remember, it's an easy peeler, so it's going to have the same thing that like a Clementine would have. Okay. And then you just dip part of the se one of the segments in chocolate, and you can arrange them to make little natural it hearts. It looks romantic. Aww. Yes. I'm, I'd love to try that. And I then craved these when I was pregnant. Another thing, Anessa, that you will love, mm -hmm. anytime you are roasting anything, whether it's chicken or salmon like we've done here, I just did a, you know, half, a, I just halved the mandarosas, and this is an, just a decadent oh. topping. And again, you're just talking about fruit. I mean, that's all it is. And well, you've kept it so simple, and I'm guessing when you put the mandarosas in the oven, you add it, another add the layer. It yes. Bingo. And so the flavor really comes alive, and everything about this celebration today is super budget friendly. Mm -hmm. From the ice cream bread to the oh, sheet pan dinner to these peanut butter sandwiches <laughs> and the and the deli or the chicken salad that we made in yeah. the ever crisp. Okay, house. I'm trying the ice cream bread tonight. Yeah, when I get you're going to love will it. Snap you on Instagram. Speaking of that, you guys, she's just a website away. So you can get more <laughs> of her. Where can we follow you? Theproducemoms.com. And look, the one that Amber put the that's, It's done. It's done. Oh, look how gorgeous <laughs> you guys. We're going to have more. We'll be back after this. <laughs>